hi i am going to discuss about uh, two input nor gate uh, using uh, cmos technology we know that the nor gate is having two inputs and this is an a input a and this is an input b and nor gate output is a plus b whole bar so we need to design for this this is only the symbol but we need to design the internal circuit uh, for the nor gate using cmos technology i'll tell you how to draw the circuit what are the design rules but this is the symbol as you know that 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 bar means 1 1 0 plus 1 1 1 bar means 0 1 plus 0 0 0 1 bar means 1 plus 0 1 1 bar means 0 1 plus 1 1 1 bar means 0 so this is the truth table and internal circuit is uh, this thing but how to draw i will tell you this is uh, the internal circuit for the two input nor gate i will tell you here there are two design nor gate nor gate nor gate function nor gate out, output is a plus b a plus b whole bar so according to design rules if addition is there the pull down network should be parallel pull down net network should be parallel and that to in pull down network we need to use nmos transistor in pull up complementary transistor pmos transistor need to use so this is an a and this is a b transistor b and of course we need to give the connection here so this pull up network should be pull down network should be in parallel if addition is there so then only we can get the output easily so now we can design uh, the two input nor gate i will draw it here we can see this a plus b means the pull down network should be in series i am assuming this is a this is a and this is b b pull down network i am drawing here this is b b b and i need to give the source gate drain and source gate drain of course source gate drain and source gate drain so this is the pull down network cmos technology means should be complement so here it is parallel with parallel with nmos and complement circuit is uh, that is series with uh, series with pmos need to use then only we need to get uh, our required logic output so here pull up network should be in series and uh, the transistor should be pmos because in pull down network we are used nmos transistors so that's why here we need to go with pmos and should be series supply is required that is vdd vdd and uh, ground this is ground ground is required this is ground now we need to take the output in between in between pull up and pull down network v out now the circuit is completed we can say this this is pull down network totally and this is pull up network uh, so both are complement in pull down network nmos transistor we are used and in pull up network we are used pmos transistors so now we will check it one condition and uh, how to get the output we will check it and we will check it here and so both are same at the time we are giving a and b and two times also we can give the inputs here or else you can connect the a to a and b to b both are same so i am giving uh, zero zero one condition i will check it zero plus zero zero plus zero is equal to zero bar is equal to one is the output we need to get one so that is the condition one i am giving a equal to zero b equal to zero so nor gate means bar means one we need to get it so therefore here uh, i am giving zero a equal to zero and b equal to zero 
So this is N MOS N P N transistor, and this is P MOS. This is also N MOS N P N transistor. This is P MOS P N P transistor, or else source gate drain, source gate drain, source gate drain. So this is also P N P transistor and P N P transistor. This is P N P transistor. So now I am checking. Uh, I am giving zero. Here zero zero a equal to zero and b equal to zero. As you know that when it is when the transistor is on, when the transistor is on, if you take n MOS transistor, left side corner you can check it uh, source and gate and drain. Drains are there. So this VGA voltage between gate and source, which voltage between gate and source should be greater than threshold of the that particular transistor so then only it will goes to on otherwise if vgs less than or equal to vt it will goes to off condition vgs vgs less than threshold voltage the transistor will goes to off condition so this is the real uh, characteristics uh, just assume that here zero to positive so here there is no sufficient vgs so that's why it is uh, it will goes to off condition this is off and zero to n mos so means it is also uh, or goes to off condition off condition this is also goes to off condition and because there is no sufficient vga vgs or else you can assume uh, it is zero means negative just assumption it is p positive so zero to positive it is reverse bias goes to off condition similarly here also it is Reverse bias just assumption goes to off condition, and coming to here zero to n, zero to n. So of course there is a sufficient here. It will goes to on condition. Sufficient VGS is there. So or else you can assume like this zero to negative. Zero means negative, negative to negative. Forward bias goes to just assumption, and zero to negative. It is forward bias means negative to negative. Forward bias goes to on condition. Originally. VGS should be greater than with T. Then only it will goes to on condition. VGS less than with T, it will goes to off condition. So now we can see this pull up pull down transistors are in off condition. Pull up transistors both are in on condition. Now the VDD is flowing like this. You can see this from here. This is the path to flow the VGS. So then it will get it here. Then V out should be high or else VDD. So when you are giving zero zero, we'll get the output is zero zero. One more condition, I will check it. Uh, second condition and uh, one plus one is equal one. Bar means we need to get zero output. Zero output. So I will check it now. So I am giving one one here. Uh, while giving one one, what will happen? I will check it. So here you can see this. I am giving one it here. A equal to one, B equal to one, and uh, here also A equal to one and uh, B equal to one. Now we can say this one to positive. It will goes to on condition, just assumption. Or else in this case VGS should be greater than VT. When you are giving uh, VGS should be greater than VT for PMOS, for PMOS. So then means it is goes to on condition. Similarly, and MOS goes to on condition here. Or else you can assume like this: one positive, p positive, forward bias goes to on condition. And similarly here also one to positive, it will goes to on condition. And coming to here, one is positive, n is negative. So just assume that it is, it will goes to off condition because of reverse bias. Originally here there is no sufficient VDS to goes to the on condition. Now we can say this pull down network is in on condition, pull up network is in off condition. So means it is acted as an open circuit. So it is acted as a short circuit, and here there is no flow of uh, from here to here. Transistor T1, T2, to no flow to output side. So hence the output is zero. Hence the output is zero. We can say this. So this is the way. In the remaining conditions, also we'll get it uh, zero zero. 
so depends on the number of inputs we can uh, we should know this the rule if a plus plus c is there uh, both the full down network should be parallel and if uh, addition is the multiplication is there uh, full down network should be in series so then only we can get easily our required uh, output for a given nor get so the academics they may ask the questions like this a plus b whole power whole power for that to design a gate uh, using CMOS technology. Why it is CMOS? Because we are using complement to one another. Here NMOS parallel we are using, here PMOS uh, series they are using. Both are complement completely. So that's why it is named as CMOS technology using two input NAND gate designing. Thank you.